Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is Windows Server 2019 training tutorial and this is number 25 video in this series and today in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure RDS Microsoft Remote Desktop Services Shares and Host Server Deployment on Windows Server 2019 so uh, as uh, in last video we have did the quick installation uh, by using Microsoft RDS quick installation and we have successfully installed and configured Microsoft uh, remote desktop services uh, all the roles on one server and now I am going to install um, uh, remote desktop services on two different servers and combining uh, and creating the RDS farm so in this video I'm going to focus on the first uh, scenario which is remote desktop sh uh, scenario so uh, multiple users are going to con uh, concurrently access the same machine by using Windows desktop remote desktop services so we have we are going to add one remote desktop session host server in RDS farm and all the users are going to access that RDS server so session host server so let's get in my demo environment so this is my demo environment which I'm going to use in this video so my first machine is going to be Win2K19 DC01 which is my Active Directory and Domain Controller basically and DNS server so here is my Active Directory and DNS server if I go to local server you can see Active Directory and DNS uh, role is running on this machine and this is Win2K19 DC01 and my domain name is victimfosol.com so this is my Active Directory server and next we have two bare machines so I have just uh, freshly installed these two machines which is wind, uh, which is going to be a one RD connection broker and the second server is going to be um, this session host server so we are going to do the installation and configuration for these two machines so let's see so this is Win2K19 RDS01 so this is bare machine I have not done anything on this machine just install and logged in so I'm going to configure these two machine and join in my domain so let's do it so I'm going to join this machine first in my domain infrastructure so I need to configure the IP address as per my slide which is here so 202 so I'm going to configure IP address 192 dot. 202 and the gateway is going to be 192.168.0.1 and DNS is going to be 201 my domain controller IP and this is going to be alternate is going to be my gateway address so this is good and now I'm going to join this machine rename and join this machine in domain so going to win 2 k 19 RDS my domain name So administrator and my password for administrator. So welcome to victimfasol.local. So this so now I'm going to restart this machine. So we have configured successfully configured this machine RD connection broker basically. Now let's configure this machine machine and join this machine rename IP config and uh, join this machine in domain. So Win2K19 SH01 which is going to be our session host server. So I'm going on SH01. This is also a first machine. So just freshly installed. So I'm going to configure IP address on this machine first. So going to be 192 .0 .203 and then default gateway and I'm going to put my DNS 201 and alternate DNS is gateway so this is good and now I'm going to rename and join this machine in domain so win2k19 sh01 so this is going to be a session host and my domain name Now I'm going to put my credential here and password for this account. So this is good. So this is also joining my domain and now I'm going to restart this machine also. And uh, last we have two thin client machine which is Win8TH01 and Win8TH02. So both are my thin client machines. If you go here and see 
Vinet TH01 which is embedded operating system running on Windows 8.1 so this is this and the second machine is going to be mine this is also a thin client embedded machine when uh, Vinet TH02 so now this machine is rebooted I'm going to hit control to Dell and log into this server by domain account so first we need to create one domain account so I'm going on my Active Directory server tools and Active Directory users and computers so here I'm going to create one RDS admin account so go to users and admin I'm going to create new user call it RDS admin oops we need to type RDS admin and then type the password for this account RDS admin and I'm going to never password never expire then I'm going to give this machine a domain admin to get the local administrator access on all the servers so this is good and now I'm going we have joined this machine in the bin and I'm going to move it to correct OU servers OU so this is done so now I'm good to go and head on login so I'm going to type RDS admin and password for this account and now I'm going to log into SH01 as well so RDS admin so now we have successfully configured this infrastructure and now I'm going to install a RDS role which is uh, I'm going to configure remote desktop services on on uh, farm so I'm going to click on manage from RDS server which is a connection broker in my case so I'm going to click on manage and add role and features so basically before doing this we have to add this server session host server here so I'm going to add session host server also here so tools uh, basically add manage and add servers so I'm going to find my server so this is my server ss01 so I'm going to add the server here uh, here in server manager so we can manage both the servers from here so now you can see we have RDS and RDS0 uh, SH01 here now we can go ahead and add role and features and click next and I'm going to install remote desktop services installation and we are going to do session based desktop deployment so click next now I'm going to last time we selected a quick installation which is going to install all everything on one machine and now we are going to do a uh, standard deployment which is allow you to deploy a remote desktop services across multiple servers so we are doing a multiple server two servers here so this is good uh, also you can later and you can add more servers in your RDS farm if you wish so I'm going to add more servers later on also so standard deployment click next and we have a deployment scenario you want to deploy virtual machine based deployment or session based so I'm going to do the session based if you install a uh, virtual base you will see this RDS host virtualization host if you do session host deployment you will see session host so I'm going to um, session host deployment click next and in the session host deployment we require three roles so the first thing is uh, connection broker and the second is RD web access and last one is uh, remote desktops um, session host so I'm going to install a RD connection broker and web access on this machine and this is going to be a dedicated session host server so all the users are going to get to uh, log into this session host servers so click next and now this is asking for RDS connection broker so uh, RDS is going to be my RDS connection broker and now it's asking for uh, going to ask for RD web access so I'm going to install RD web access role on RDS connection broker so it's automatically selected here click next and now I'm going to install a session host role on my SH01 so select SH01 click next So now it's going to give you the option so session host server is going to reboot so you will see this the following server is going to restart so go ahead restart the destination server automatically if required and click on deploy 
so now it's going to rep uh, install three roles so connection broker is going to be on RDS 01 basically on RDS and web access is going to be on win 2k19 RDS and session host, uh, session host role is going to be installed on SS, uh, SH01 so this is good let's wait for the installation and you will see once the installation is uh, going to start for session host server this server is going to reboot automatically so currently installing connection broker role so now it's started installing web access role also so these two connection broker and web access does not require reboot So once the installation is done for web access, it's going to start the installation for a session host and the session host server is going to reboot. So we have to wait for some more time. Now session host installation is started and it's still not rebooting so it's going to reboot soon. Now you can see the status restarting so you can see the SH01 is now rebooting so this is good so it will wait for till the time server is come back and then it's uh, going to configure this server as a session host server so you can see now it's applying settings uh, we are good so let's log into this machine so I'm logging to SH01 and now you can see this is good and RD connection broker con uh, now it's configuring so it will configure one by one and then uh, once the uh, so connection broker uh, succeeded web access succeeded and session host is also succeeded so we got everything done successfully and now you can see the installation is completed and you can go ahead and close this so now if I go on, on dashboard you will be able to see remote desktop services and IS here on a connection broker so if you go to remote desktop services you will see here we have a RDS RDS server having RD connection broker RDS server having RD web access and SH01 having RDS session host uh, role so this is good and now uh, if you uh, create like a uh, quick installation you will get the collection automatically deployed if you don't uh, if you do the standard deployment you have to do create the collection so I'm going to create a collection so right button here on a task and then uh, create a session collection and then you will get this screen so what you want to do you have to create the users and you must have to uh, must have basically user group or uh, to which you give access for RDS connection broker or RDS collection so this is good so click on next and collection name I'm going to type win2k19 demo click next and the session host server so we have only one session host server so all the users are going to get session on this session host server which is SS01 click next and which profile you want to give groups you want to give access so I'm not going to give uh, like any individual users so by default it's taken domain users so I'm going to leave the default so all the domain users are going to have access to this collection which we are creating so click next 
and I'm not going to create uh, enable profile this we have a, a ded uh, we are going to create a dedicated uh, we uh, like a video for profile desk and how we can enable this how we can use the profile desk so I'm going to click next for now and this is going to be a collection name groups which we are giving access and the session of server and profile disk no so this is good click on create now you can see it's creating collection and adding server is going to be done very soon so this is succeeded um, a collection is created server is added so now you can see here we have a uh, win 2k19 demo this is a collection and you can see we have one server here and if I go here you will see uh, for now we don't have any uh, session so if I refresh this you will see we got one session because on a session host server I have logged in with this account which is RDS admin so here you can see so this is good and now let's go here and type edit deployment you will see uh, how users can access so this is the web URL so if I go here the users are able to access this web page and they can log into RDS uh, resources so I'm going to copy this path and I'm going on my thin client machine I'm going to open Internet Explorer I'm going to paste it here so certificate warning we can go to this, this website and now I'm going to type my uh, server a uh, username so victor info soul and I'm going to type user 01 and password for this account and you can see the collection which we have created win 2k19 demo here so this is good and now I'm going to connect here and I'm going to type my password once again and we are getting in so this is good we got the access to this machine and which is going to be a Win2K19 RDS and through the connection which is created here collection which we have created and now I'm going to um, do the same from here Internet Explorer from my session host 2 machine uh, thin client 2 machine and I'm going to login by user 02 so return in for soul user 02 and password for this account going to type my password once again and we are good now uh, we got two session from thin client 1 and thin client 2 for different different users and now if I go to session or server you can see I got two sessions on my session or server for user 01 and user 02 and now if you go to the RDS server you will see here if I go to collection and refresh this you will see uh, the session is reflecting here so this is good and if I go to server or uh, remote desktop server uh, and if I go and see the host name you will see I am logged into SH01 through the uh, this web page which is our RDS web access role so this is good so this is how we can uh, install and configure a remote desktop services on Windows Server 2019 so in next video we are going to add few more servers in this deployment and we are going to see how we can add a session more session host server and how we can create a multiple um, uh, you can say the multiple collection on the same RDS farm so this is all about uh, how to install and configure RDS remote desktop services session host server on Windows Server 2019 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye